Hello all, and welcome back to Kreos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of Morrowind, in which I am now doing tasks for the Mages Guild. Uh, my most recent task is to plant or provide a fake soul gem uh, to Galbadir by putting it in Galbadir's desk. And my memory is uh, that Ajira said that Galbadir's desk was um, upstairs and Galbadir's desk isn't something I can uh, click on, so that's not going to help. Anyway, I have to find Galbadir's desk, which I'm assuming that means Galbadir has... Oh, you are Galbadir. That's... Hmm. Okay. Well, and he was going to be leaving to... I don't know if I can help yeah. you, but I'll try. Step right up, Drolin, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Taldum's Scorcher to burn your foes, or on Ducey's Unhinging to open stuck chests and doors? If you're going somewhere dangerous, try some scrolls of vitality and vigor to restore your... restore your and health and fatigue. I think... I think that's a typo. If you're in real trouble, you'll want Almsivi Intervention or Divine Intervention to transport you instantly to the nearest temple or nearest imperial shrine. Hmm. Actually, yes, I am going to want those. Um, so she does training, enchanting, barter. Uh, is there anything I can... Hmm, is it worth trying to... You know what? Sure. Have you been helping Ajira with a bet? Go ahead. I have many tricks of my own. Even you and Ajira together cannot stop me from winning. Okay. Um, well. What about enchantments? Temple Enchanters favor healing and protection spells. Redoran Enchanters favor wounding missile loads and shield spells. Hlalu like weapon enchantments and various spell rings. Imperials use a wide array of weapon and ring damage enchantments. But the masters of enchantment are the Telvanni. They use all effects, often several combined on one item. But they especially like items that summon creatures or magical weapons and armor. Hmm. All right, then. Interesting. What's a guild guide? A guild guide is a spellcaster of the Mages Guild who provides magical transport for a small fee. Oh, okay. You can only travel from one Mages Guild to another, but it is the fastest way to travel between Vivek, Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, and Zadrith Mora. Massalini? I, I never can never... Okay, so that's going to be Massalinic because it's Vivek above that. But the C and the E look very... No, that's Massalini, because, yeah, all right. Marion is the guild guide at the Balmora Mages Guild. For a small fee, she can teleport you directly to the Mages Guild at either Vivek, Aldrun, Caldera, or Sandrith Mora. Anyway, well, neat. Uh, what do you train in? You train in alchemy, destruction, and unarmored. Well, I was hoping to train in alchemy, so... Alchemy identifies magical properties in mundane substances. Substances are consumed directly, directly or prepared as potions to provide long-lasting benefits like healing and curing disease, water walking, magical shielding, and fortifying bodily attributes. Yes, I did want to learn alchemy. And that took it up to seven. Um, I don't really want to spend a lot of money, but I need to get my alchemy up to the point where I can actually start doing stuff with it. So I don't know how high that needs to be. Let's see what... I mean, it has to be at 35, eventually. Um, unless it ends up being what I get to 90. So let's take it up to 15. But then I have to figure out how I'm going to... There we go. So my alchemy is up to 15. Now I have to figure out Nothing. how I am... Oh, going to get my... The fake soul gem in there. Um, actually, I'm going to step back out a second. Quick save it so that if I screw this up, I don't have to reload. So there's her desk. Now I'm looking for the fake soul gem. Uh, where would a soul gem... Is this it? Nope, that's a common soul gem, so it's close. Oh, right there. What? This yeah. blue one? Yep. Ah, yes. Fake soul gem, lesser soul gem. Close. Alright, so I have succeeded in planting a fake soul gem in Galbadir's um, thing. Now, she appears to be, you know, 
thinking the tricks are loud, so we'll see whether or not this uh, blows up in everybody's face or if this makes perfect sense. All right. I, yeah, and I'm not real sure how magic works. I'm going to have to figure that out as I go. All right, Adira, has Drolin put the fake soul gem in Galbadir's desk? I have. You have put the gem in the desk as Adira asked. Adira thanks you. Well, you're welcome. What additional duties will you have for me? Ajira must now study local flowers. Yes, Ajira must study flowers now. Ajira needs samples of gold canet, stone flower petals, willow, anther, and heather. These can all be found on the shores of Lake Amaya. To get to Lake Amaya, go southeast out of Balmora. Past Fort Moonmoth. Okay, so past Fort Moonmoth. Then follow the signs and take the road to Pelagiad. After you cross the Fort Mamea, go towards Surin at the next crossroads. So, okay. All the flowers Adira needs are near the path to Surin, which runs along the north shore of Lake Amaya. All right, what is Gold Canet? Gold Canet grows near rocks. It has yellow flowers and brought... You know what? I should ask all of these questions in the next video. All right, so I am going to have to go flower picking or go find out if I already have been flower picking. That doesn't sound familiar, so there's a good chance I will just have to go run around and find stuff. But for now, I'm going to call this good for this video, and we'll go see what information I need on the flowers in the next one. Thanks, all. Hello, all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.